and we're on our way now within uh heading towards the moon after I, we did our TLI translunar injection. Uh, well, within a few minutes of getting ourselves together, we're ready to uh, separate uh, from the third stage, turn the service module around, command module, and begin the docking with the lunar module and extract it out. So we see here... Uh, getting rid of the shrouds and doing our separation from the third stage. And it's a simple matter of rotating around to position to line up our docking ports. And I like to do things in the 3D view. Uh, one of the things that we could have done in the translunar injection instead of using a HUD, we could have used the external uh, MFDs by going into custom, click on the external MFD. Um, but I wanted everybody able to read the numbers and see what I was doing the translunar injection. So now when I'm docking, uh, I'm going to go use the external MFD. It's a little smaller, but uh, uh, we can use the MFD for that, and also bring up the remote control from custom as well. And that way I ensure that uh, I don't accidentally hit the wrong key on the keypad docking. Now also if you have a laptop, it's nice to have the remote control. So pretty much easy click the rotation, rotate our ship uh, service command module around until we're lined up with the docking port of the lunar module. And here we are, we're lining up, and we'll just uh, pretty much go through the docking procedure. Uh, you can see that we're going to need to also uh, rotate our ship around to be oriented uh, in the proper upright position to match the lunar module's port. As you can see here, uh, you can move these external windows to your liking. And now that uh, we've rotated uh, and aligned our ports correctly, we can start moving our spacecraft towards the lunar module. And what I'll do here is I'll kind of jump so you don't have to sit through the whole process. I'll just jump uh, every few moments up a little closer, and you can just see the procedure is quite easy uh, as far as just uh, operating your thrusters. And a little closer now, continue to operate our thrusters, linear thrusters, and an occasion the rotational thrusters to bring ourselves right into the port until we eventually get to the point that we can dock. It's a lot of fun doing this. Uh, you can do it without the MFD. I like to use the MFD. It gives me an idea of the relative velocity that I'm coming into it and how, how distant I am in, kilometer, in, in meters, I'm sorry, into closing in. Um, but uh, you, you don't have to use the MFD at all. Um, and, and you can certainly use the uh, keypad if you want, but I like using the... So now that we're docked, uh, we can go on to the next stage of extraction. And once again, you know the activation key is the J key. So just press the J key. And very simple. And we begin to move out of way and let loose of the third stage and say goodbye to it. Now the third stage will, uh, when it, after so many minutes, will rotate itself around and head off uh, either to the sun or the moon, depending on what Apollo mission it is. 
uh, let it all thrust out. And that's it. Very short, brief, quick uh, instructional on how to uh, get the Lunar Command Module docked and we're ready for the moon.